This is NDTV. And you're watching Classics. By independence, the Valchand Group was one of the five biggest industrial empires in India. Valchand had no sons and was estranged from his only daughter, so the empire went to the sons of his three half-brothers, Gulabchand, Ratanchand and Lalchand. Today, the group is divided. You're the man they say broke the group up. Why did you feel the need to break it? <laughs> I think it is sad to say that I broke the group up. I did not break the group up. I just uh, formalized what had already happened. I helped formalize it. When you found that a group that is floundering because it does not have a sense of direction, a sense of destiny, then you find that, that things don't work, things were not working. And we, all the family members who were at the head of different companies, were not able to form a team. So then it is best that each one seeks his own. And uh, so what was already happening in terms of separation of management was given uh, identity to buy by separating the ownership as well. So it is not fair to say that I I, I did it all. I think uh, it it was the way it happened. The cookie crumbled that way. Some members of the family wanted it separated. So they initiated, insisted that it be done. Well, having said that, I think it's a natural thing. Uh, it happens in uh, nature, in life. I don't know of any group that has really stayed on worth mentioning. Ajit Gulabchand inherited the Hindustan Construction Company. Chakur Doshi inherited Valchand Nagar Industries. His older brother Vinod inherited Premier Automobiles, which is now run by his son Maitreya and the Indian Hume Pipe Company went to Rajas Doshi. How have these companies fared since the division 10 years ago? The Hindustan Construction Company was started by Valchand Hirachand nearly 100 years ago and after independence has grown to become one of the largest construction companies in India involved in building Things that involve heavy engineering like nuclear power stations and roads. It has been involved recently in the Mumbai Pune Highway. And here we stand on the site of the Bandra Whirly Sea Link, a feat of engineering in itself. HCC has grown 15 times since 1993. The other Valchand Group companies have been slow and steady, but Premier Automobiles, the largest company when the group split, has faced bad times. As appropriate as it was to begin this story in Valchand Nagar, we end it at Premier, the car company that Valchand started in the 40s. We look now at what it's become. With me is Maitreya Doshi, one of his grandnephews who runs Premier as it is today in its present incarnation. So might you tell me what has become of Premier in its present incarnation? Well, uh, the company began in 19... Uh, started rolling out vehicles in 1948 and uh, we went through a variety of problems. The first was there was an adverse regime of uh, the government of India in terms of cars being considered a luxury product and so there was price control, volume control, no ability to change models. In the early 80s, uh, we had uh, the onset of Maruti and uh, there was, it's well known that there was a discriminatory policy favoring them, which we had to face. Despite that, in the 80s and 90s, Premier grew dramatically. So, uh, yes, we no, no longer make cars, but we are in the vehicle business and we are, have always remained and will remain a strong player in the machine tool and engineering business which has been very core to Walchand's legacy. What are you making here? We make two vehicles um, of the same uh, platform to use car jargon. 
Uh, one is a um, uh, pickup truck uh, which carries a payload of uh, between one to one and a half tons and also a uh, passenger van. Both are powered by a diesel engine and uh, the passenger van seats seven people. Basically these vehicles cater to the utility uh, value for money market. Rajas Doshi inherited the Hume Pipe Company Valjan left behind. He restructured that company and took a collaboration from Humes of Australia. Initially, uh, about four or five factories were uh, erected and thereafter, within a span of, uh, say, by 1953, uh, when, he, when he passed away, there were 52 factories all over uh, India. Subsequently, certain concessions were offered to small-scale industries and it was difficult to, uh, for, for these uh, factories to survive uh, for, and, and uh, we had to close down probably 40 factories in the uh, early 90s. Uh, we make about total six, six types of pipes and they are basically used for transportation of water in the field of water supply, for drinking water supply, irrigation, sewage, and for hydroelectric power. There were two words, social awareness and social responsibility, which I learned from my father-in-law. He was very socially aware in life and he would do small little things for society, which I thought had to be taken. And then a friend of mine happened to take me to a home where these girls from slums were housed. And they told me about the problems, how they are not safe in the slums. And that sent sent me thinking that I really live a life in an ivory tower. I have to go out and some social responsibility has to be fulfilled. <music>